So is the ceiling light like because the curtain thing didn't work? No, I actually got it to project onto the curtain. Um, so once once the curtain's back, so I ordered these things, I should clarify, to help the curtain stay up better. Um, they just haven't arrived yet. So once um, they arrive, then the light will be shining on the curtain. The curtain's really dark, isn't it? Will it still look as cool? We'll see. There are different colors too, so maybe a different color will work. Hello, Laura, Stephanie, Jules, KK, Courtney, Savannah. Look at this. We got a lot of people. How's everyone doing today? I'm tired. Yeah. Uh, in addition to Dreamlight Valley being all I did today, it may be all I did yesterday, too. <laughs> My friends I were shocked. They're like, if you go forward, you'll get princess dresses and cool clothes. And I was like, I'm just really having fun whooshing all of the night thorns. I'm sure I'll get to the actual game part eventually. But, like, we're tidying here. You know. And that's... That's satisfying. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? Oh. Snowy, where are you, Sammy? I like that. No one I know has complained about snow. Yeah, I haven't seen anything, but could be anywhere. I don't know it. Tell me more immediately. Yeah, I don't know anything about. I don't really do video games though, so or games. Speaking of painting nails, uh, depending on how all of uh, Friday goes, I'm thinking about busting out all my fancy nail stuff so we can paint our nails and be all fancy. <laughs> South Dakota. Hmm. Hmm. I I think that people in the Dakotas just never talk about snow because it's always snowing. <sighs> My family in Montana could, you know, relate to this. Hooray! Savannah, it does not snow here. Um, what is oh, everyone working on today? It was supposed to, like, maybe snow in Central Florida back in, like, December. And I was like, I'm so ready. If it snows, my cats are going outside. We're going to meet snow. And it didn't happen. Sammy agrees Unless they're snowed in. <laughs> no. Uh, I love that. I was just talking with a friend because today is Lupercalia. Uh, about, you know, obviously the Roman history of Lupercalia, which is only tangentially related in that uh, Mark Antony got mentioned because he was a Lupercalia priest uh, the year Caesar was murdered. Okay. <laughs> so random. Exciting, depressing, you know, go you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so Lupercalia is the one where they like sacrificed a goat and like smeared all the naked men with the blood and then they like naked men ran through town like whipping people, you know, with whips made of the goat leather. And like it was considered to be good luck and fertility-ish. Okay. Um, and I was trying to imagine what that would look like in Orlando, just a horde of naked men running through the streets. Because I live on the parade route, so they they would absolutely be starting like two blocks up from me. Amy's working on synopsis. We had frozen plants here, but it didn't quite get to snow. Revising a chapter as a plot hole. Good luck to you. What are you working on today, Bess? Actually, I was thinking uh, two years ago, the um, Leather Guild and the Puppy Play Guild marched in Come Out With Pride and the Puppy Play guys flashed me. So I'm thinking it would kind of be like that. All right. Are we laughing at Jules or? Uh... 
I'm laughing at the fact that I've asked you twice what you're working on, and you oh. keep <laughs> your question. The same thing I do every night. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on prompt 23. So that's good. Cool. Kind of feel like yeah. I'll be doing it forever, but. I'm going to be finishing up the newsletter for this week and then editing a client's manuscript. So. Mm. I had some fun meetings this week, some interesting meetings this week. Film people are so weird. <laughs> Turns out, y'all, they're exactly like they are in the books. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Nice. Hey, Joanne. Not mentally present, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a bit of a weird week, just brain wise. Um, yeah, it's been a long, I took like a, a 30 minute nap earlier, and I think it just made it, it worse. Mm -hmm. Um, so yesterday I went to Orlando Museum of Art, they had like a little market for Valentine's Day. And they had a photographer there doing um, Polaroid portraits. And so me and my... You didn't say that was at Omart, which, by the way, I can't believe they're all like, it's Oma, when you could just be Omart, which is so much better. I feel like people used to call it Omart. I don't know what happened. Yeah, they're like, we're Oma. And I'm like, you're not that fancy. <laughs> Y'all just got busted in a huge scandal, like... Let's just admit we're Omar. <laughs> I didn't know it was at Omar. You should have said yeah. something. Totally Kevin and I would have come. We did nothing. I don't think, like, I mean, we were going to go, but it was kind of like tentative plans. But it was just like a little one-room thing. And Joybird was there, so we said hi to them. Um, and then we didn't actually go to the art museum part. We just went to the... I like craft shows. The market. Uh, everyone says you look cute. Thanks. Do I remember you? Adriana has been here a couple times. Was I here at the same time? I think so. Oh, speaking of, shout out to Danny because he messaged me at 7.30 this morning um, because I had scheduled this for 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to reschedule it. I, I was simply on top of it. At 7.30 in the morning, but once I got up, I rescheduled it. Yeah, I was appreciating Discord bots today because it's release day for my podcast. And mm. like I have never functional before noon, but the bots just like go out and let everyone know that the podcast is live in the morning. Nice. When normal humans are awake. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Oh, I got a new shiny rock. Day. Where's Jay or KK? Oh, it's so shiny. It's Peacock or Savannah has a question. I um, think so. Nick knows him. I think his name's David. Nick knows everyone. Yeah. I've seen him at another event where we did not get a photo. My goal is to go and find the street poet guy. I think he's usually at the Eola Farmer's Market and I'm just never make it out there. But I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get him to write me a poem about cats. Hmm. <laughs> I think Danny literally just missed us talking about him. Well, that's how we start every, every Wednesday. Oh, you were in this exhibit. Sounds cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, I started a collection of typewriter po poems about my cats last year. And now that I know that there's a guy here, I want him. Oh, I have, um, <laughs> um, I have something to say about Wednesday, but we're about to start. So we'll... Something to say about Wednesday. Yeah, the, the show, Wednesday. That is not where I expected that sentence to go. I know. That's why I clarified. So I'll talk about it after our sprint, which is about to start. All right. On your mark. Get set. My clock doesn't even say 10 yet. Uh, go.
And that's time. Our first sprint is complete. Ah, it's way too far. Hooray! Nice. How did everyone do? I'm almost done with the newsletter. I'm just formatting it now. I think I actually made it to like 300, 400 words. I am incredibly pleased with myself. Nice. Very nice. I know, right? It's about the, the TV show. It's about the TV show. It's, it's not about, about you. I like Nick Nine Lolas, though. <laughs> It sounds like a very specific screen name. Like you're really into like Nick Cage and Legolas or something. Oh. Oh my gosh. You know the um the email format that's like first name, last name, last two digits of your uh year of birth? Mm -hmm. I had to email someone who was first name, last name, uh oh five the other day. <gasps> How would that make you feel? Confused, alarmed, uh, despondent. <laughs> the nine is silent. I like it. I'm glad we're helpful. I saw a thing that was like, it is so annoying that there's not just like a wire for like brain to computer to make story happen. I feel that. 16 pages, nice. Brilliant. Stephanie got 456 words, that's good. Yeah. 213 for Sammy. Oh, I love Halloween parties with magic. So I'll tell you real quick about the Wednesday thing. So my significant other is really into typewriters he collects and um, refurbishes them. <laughs> Danny. Um, for like color yeah. guard? I actually don't know what your day job is. I just know color guard. Danny is a school counselor mm -hmm. and then also does color guard. Nice, Andrea. Um, yeah, so he's really into typewriters, he refurbishes them, and he always spots them in movies, even if they're in the background, he'll be like, typewriter. Um, so Wednesday types on a typewriter, she's writing novels, if you haven't seen it, and so it's the scene where she's writing, and Nick goes, it's the wrong typewriter, and I was like, what? He's like, there's this, I miss some of the details, but he's like, there are these typewriter keys and they're kind of shaped weird and they call them tombstone keys. And he's like, she should have a typewriter with tombstone keys. And I was like, he is hundred percent correct. <laughs> I was like, they should have called you. <laughs> I mean, we could totally like doyle us to the explanation here, but I mean, I'm happy to just say they're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, change the line and change it back. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much less fun because it's much less niche cannot watch anything that involves a hacker with Kevin oh I imagine so <laughs> hackers on TV is always bad I've used the GUI to hack the interface <laughs> <laughs> um, was everyone drinking and or eating today <gasps> artificial happy. intelligence water sparkly water I don't think I feel old yet because that's still like a baby sized human. But like in 10 yeah. years, when you have a student who was born in 2018, uh, then I might feel mortality. It's not an adult. Yeah. Well, you can really see that they all signed it. That's really fun. Like all those little, it's everybody. <laughs> Pink Moscato. I really enjoy when I see keyboard mods, which is like a whole thing in like the aesthetic communities. You know, they'll like fill them with glitter. You, you pop your keys off and then you add like cute keys. Uh, there's someone who makes duck keys. So they're like little yellow duckies that you put on your keys, uh, but they all like quack when you click them. So if you do an entire keyboard, 
<laughs> the noise is indescribable. Well, sounds like the perfect time to fix it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Moscato again, nice. You're so well hydrated, <laughs> which is a compliment in this household. We are very proud of our cats and ourselves. Lemongrass tea, all right. Snap, oh, crackle, pop, it's Sarah's chair. Yeah. I have to stay very still when I'm recording the podcast so that doesn't happen. At least while I'm talking. It doesn't matter too much if I'm not talking. <laughs> um, I also got this guy. There we go. A teething ring. It is a... Uh, remember I was saying I got a... Oh, yeah. The like... Hand eat, strengthener eat. exercise <laughs> thing but that I didn't trust myself around pinch points, so. Mm -hmm. That does look like it'd be fun to bite. Does it have like a nice biteable texture? It is like the silicone texture. I haven't tried to bite it. We have a well hydrated group here. I know, I'm so proud of us. So if you do Valentine's things, uh, what did you do for Valentine's or Lubricalia if you went rampaging through the streets with a whip made of a untanned hide, you know, how did you spend your holiday? I went to eat at food trucks, not taco trucks, as Bess keeps trying to say. I cannot not say taco trucks. <laughs> I don't know why that is the thing that my brain has decided to rearrange this last week, but that is the thing. All food trucks are taco trucks now. And then we tried to watch the Netflix, I think it was Netflix, a romance movie where the girl books a villa in, a, a t in Italy and it turns out someone else also has it booked. Mm -hmm. It's the guy from, the big guy from um, Umbrella Academy. Mm -hmm. And um, after about 30 minutes, we had to turn it off because it was like, there was, it was unwatchable, which I like have a very low bar for shows and movies. Did you get to build it? Those are so oh, cool. That's really cool. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Oh, that sounds good. Um, I got it off of Temu. And I think I, I don't know what it's called. I just searched for hand hand strengthener because the classic ones are like the two handles with a coil on the end but as I said last week I don't trust myself around pinch points so I got this one because it looks safer so our valentine's is on Friday so we didn't plan to do anything and then we went to Target and then we played Dreamlight uh, Valley for like two hours it was awesome I think I watched like one episode and was like, they're trying to make this a reality competition too hard. Mm -hmm. And like, I really just want to watch the people build the things. I don't yeah. need to be like, and dramatic tension, bad puns from the host. I'm like, they're building a roller coaster. I want to watch them build the roller coaster and I want them to succeed because I want to see the roller coaster. Mm. Muzzle. Congrats. Yeah. Our anniversary is on Saturday. Oh, is it? Not the wedding one. We don't really do the wedding one because that came seven years after we actually started, you know, dating. Uh, so, like, Saturday is, like, the big one. Um, 45 seconds. So do your stretches. <laughs> I've gotten into the wiggle jiggles. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh, oh, oh. They're yawning. Mm. I made that candle. Nice. That's a bad gift. Why? Why would they do that? That's a bad boss. I mean, even in addition to like people want to do their own thing on Valentine's Day. Restaurants are crazy busy on Valentine's Day. Why would you have a whole business dinner? 
I guess it could have been like catered. It's time. Still a bad boss. This Audio boss mark. is not getting off the hook. Get set. Do your best. Unlike that guy.
And that's time. time. Our second sprint is complete. Hooray! How did everyone do? I finished the newsletter and started edits. Yay! I started a second fic because I completed the first one. Look at you. Like a fabulous writer. Nice. I don't understand. Like, they have Valentine's Day in China. They do. I don't know. I don't know. No, they do. Positive statement. Declarative no. statement. I'm saying I don't know what he was thinking. All right. I know that this is like serious human rights stuff, but this is human rights stuff of not planning a business dinner on Valentine's Day. Oh, that is a major violation. <laughs> what is the O for? Oh, <laughs> Amy. <laughs> oh, I can see the heart. It's a little black heart, like Wednesday might have made, but uh, I see it. Y'all. I am being tormented. Bye. Kevin is playing Dreamlight. <laughs> just out of frame. And I want to be there so badly. But I want to be here with you all. I want to be productive. But I could be fishing. You only have one more sprint to go, and then you can play. <laughs> you do babysit your, your nibblings a lot. <laughs> no, that's how I talk to myself. Nice, Courtney. Three of all of you. Well done, Stephanie. What do we have coming up? Oh, that's a good question. I do have a workshop coming up on plotting your novel with Kirsten, Kristen Durfee. Um, oh, and uh, they just announced it yesterday. I'm going to be an agent at Sleuth Fest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm excited. Um, and so there's like a kind of little stealthy message on the Sleuth Fest website about me. <laughs> Counts as productive. Proud of you. Nice, Joanna. I'm happy I'm here with you too. I just wish that I could like fully split myself and do both the things at the same time, which may or may not be the ADHD speaking. Now, see, these are just squares to me. The smiley face and a smiley face. Oh, I would have guessed it was like hands. <laughs> um, so I had an episode come out today. Oh, I yeah. interviewed Patrick from the Hinky Punks. It was awesome. Cool. And tomorrow I'm getting a haircut. So Sarah won't be able to recognize me on Friday. I'm getting a haircut on Friday. But before we're going out on Friday. Before I come to you. Oh, so we won't recognize each other. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mine doesn't look much different, but. <laughs> that just says hand pink waving, hand pink waving. I also just see those words, yeah. And then hands, <laughs> which I think makes it funnier. Okay, Jasper's here. Hey, buddy. That felt pointed. Is that pointed? It's just a smiley face. No, no, no. But the what you doing oh. next week? I don't. I don't know. Is oh, it the coastal magic. Oh. Oh yeah. Magic. Yeah. That's why. I'll be there. I'm gonna meet David Slayton and tell him that I'm the biggest fan and I've read all of his books uh, and I deserve a hat more than Sarah and he should give me Sarah's hat. No. <laughs> no, I. I yeah. Mm -mm. I want a Trailer Park Trickster hat. Well, I've read Trailer Park Trickster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go buy the audiobook right now because of your bullying. I have been bullying you for like a month on this subject now. You are never going to make it in time. Yes, that's why I was posting about Sleuth Fest with eyeballs. What shade of pink are the pink hands? Are they like this pink? Are they like this pink? Are they like Sarah's Wiggly Lights pink? 
funny. funny. Of course I read Deadbeat Druid. Okay. I've read all of them. And that is why I deserve a hat. Oh, and Laura deserves a hat too. Everyone who is not Sarah deserves a hat. <laughs> Thank you. It. Libro FM. Now that I can buy books on Libro FM. See? Everyone here who is not Sarah deserves hats for the second the, two books. The main thing, the main problem is that his books are like... You're a fake fan. Through Amazon or whatever. And so I can't get them with my Libro FM credits. So I have to like also pay additional... Oh, my back. That sounds like an excuse to me. Us uh, real fans over here have made it through all three. It's not fair. You can read a book in like two hours. <laughs> that is excuses. Buddy, David Slayton is worth it. Do you all like my um, lights? I do. They remind me of my jellyfish. I can make um make them different colors. How what? Didn't read yet. What? What what? <laughs> wait what? What wait? How? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how she does it. She one time she beta read a book of mine, which I sent her while I was at her house, and by the time I got home, she was done. It was really good. I read it twice. <laughs> you also had me read another book, and I sent you all of my critical thoughts on it. So uh, there is proof that I do read them. Yeah. This is the light that my mom got, opened my package, and gave it to my niece. <laughs> You want to see more colors? Okay, I gotta roll back. So I don't know if you'll be able to see me. Or hear me, I mean. But the real question is, can Sarah hear us? I can hear you. Oh, so we can't talk crap. Why would you want to? That's Because it's funny. Purple, blue. It's blue, but it looks purple on the screen. I like the all the colors. This is red and green. Yes, it is. This is a blue and I like that one. Red. That's the one I had it on. And that's the blue and green. I really like this one. That one looks like an undersea effect. And this one is the, all of them flashing. Jen, I think. I'm sorry. I don't if your name is not on the screen, it's in, it's invisible to me. I'm gonna say Jen. Jen likes the blue a lot. Let's do blue and green for a little while. We are now underwater. Yeah. Sea. Under the sea. Did I get it right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I really like it. It's fun. I think that's the problem. I have, I have no particular desire to be soothed. <laughs> Oh, flash him. That's a powerful connection to have made. I like that. I like the way your brain works. Let's see. I got, um, did I show you my rainbow hematite? That's just a bolt or a. <laughs> it's just cut in that shape. Like a bolt or a nut. Mm hmm. I don't think I got another. Oh, I got this one. I don't know what this one's called. If Kaylee was here, she could tell us. It's like a very pale pink. Why are you getting all the shiny rocks? Um, Because I like them and they make me happy. You'd be a dice goblin, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Maybe I'll dig up my dice collection. <laughs> and we can do a similar shiny rock share. Um, I did it for my um, coworker's birthday. Uh, we did like a we had some time last week and to kill, and we did a tarot reading with my dad. And then um, for her birthday, I bought her um, five shiny rocks based on the reading. That's so fun. fun. Yeah. All right, it's time. Wow, already. 
Yeah. Time flies when you're bullying Sarah. <laughs> anyway, get set. Finish strong.
And that's time. Our final sprint is now complete. Um, nope. <laughs> no panic. Yay! <laughs> How did everyone do? Sarah's on mute, so that means I'm in charge now. That's not, is that what that means? <laughs> I think so. Um, if you're eating barbecue chips, don't bite the inside of your cheek or anything else. Recommended not to bite the inside of your cheek. I only made it like 50 more words in, but I did really well tonight overall, so I'm proud of myself. Nice. Nice, KK. That's I don't, perfect for a break. I don't know where I started on this manuscript, so I don't know how to tell you what progress I made. <laughs> I appreciate you. Nice, okay. 389. Excellent. Man, Stephanie's kicking butt tonight. Oh, no. Uh-oh. It's the sleepies. Ooh. Ooh, what? Uh, the, the youths TM are out on their bikes and they all have really bright headlamps and they mm. were all going at the exact same speed that looked very cool, gotcha. which is better than the usual shenanigans, which involve things like playing chicken with cars, weaving in and out of traffic. Mm, yeah. That's pretty good though. That's good. Yay. Nine. Half page brainstorm. Cool. Satisfying. I also like our confetti. I just wish that the uh, the loop was a little bit cleaner. It's a bit jarring. <laughs> and thank you. I just saw a box. In my head, it was really tiny confetti. <laughs> There's a kind of confetti emoji. There's? Yeah, it's like um, Ooh, it's with me. It comes out of a cone something. <gasps> Party cannon? Maybe. Let me let me see if I can make it. Party cannon. Where would it be? Oh, it's here. That's right. It's going to be so tiny. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Mm, oh, I think I know what the thing is. Yeah. It's like a little popper. Yeah. <laughs> square. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> nope, that's a square. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of feeling the urge for more GIFs. So. You got to Go look for some more, I guess. Yeah, if I remember how to do it, which currently I do not, uh, that may happen next week. All right. Um, I think that's it. I think we got through everything. Oh, does anyone have a fun fact? Oh, fun facts. Hmm. I have a very small section of nonfiction right there, but they are uh, not useful because <laughs> they're like uh, the best snorkeling places in Hawaii or uh, writing guides <laughs> or organizing solutions for people with ADHD. So none of my weird books are out here. <laughs> I see what you did there and I like it. My head is entirely empty. Yeah, I'm done. I am done with this day. I have an after hours authors author event tomorrow at the library. James Rollins. And then you're very, very busy on Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Go for it, Jen. What was that A little music I heard? Kevin's playing Dream Lake Valley. Oh, that's a game. 
It's right there. It's so close. <laughs> After this, I'm going to go help Remy put together his restaurant or something. Okay, that sounds like fun. Earlier, I had to make a ratatouille. And he was like, it's going to be great. Here's your recipe. It's vegetables and spices. And I was like, if you've played Dream Lake Valley, are you just supposed to like guess? Is there something that I was supposed to find or know? Because <laughs> I ended up just looking up how to make Dream Lake Ratatouille online. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Because I do not believe in playing things on the hard mode. Why is what? Where's Jen with this Lego fact? I'm sort of assuming that comments are just like, bloop. Oh, here we go. What? Oh, <laughs> not actual frogs. <laughs> you sent me a picture on Twitter? Cool. I was like, what do you mean they're made out of baby frogs? I think I would like to make one of those. You know, like the like the bonsai Lego sets or like the bouquet of flowers Lego sets. I think that'd be really fun. How'd you I send me a to... picture, Jen? Harry Potter Lego sets. Uh, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> we little frogs. Oh, I think I have a picture. Show oh, us the frog flowers. Show us the frog flowers. That could probably be a Pokemon. Like petals that are upside down frogs. Frogs that when you do upside down are petals. They are just straight up frogs. I thought it would be like more. Okay, let me let me share the image. Here we go. That's just a little frog. Yeah, they're just straight up frogs. That's just a frog. I'm so confused. I mean, I love it. I want to build the tree frog. The frog tree? <laughs> it is a frog tree. Little frogs. Okay. I thought it'd be harder to see, but no, they're just straight up frogs. Uh, that was a very fun fact. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And with that, we are done. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. Hopefully, we'll see you back here next week. Um, everyone, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. <laughs>